Well, guten tag. Welcome to Hypo. Oh, you don't understand what I said? I know some of you did. I took a whole, like, semester, I guess, worth of German. I wasn't very good at it, but I do know that Guten Tag means good day. Um, so, Guten Tag, and welcome to High Point. Today, you guys, we're going to discover what our choices reveal about our confidence. But first, I really want to know, guys, what is the point? Ah, you guys are catching on so fast. I even heard a few of you say the point already. Let's say it together. Now, if this is your first time catching up with us, don't worry. You don't have to say the point. We always say it at least twice. So the first time you can just listen, and the second time you can say it with us. Really is a pretty easy point. The point is, I can do everything God wants me to do. So now we'll say it again. So maybe if, if you didn't say it the first time, you can join with us. I can do everything God wants me to do. Guys, I said it the first time, I said it last lesson, and I'll say it again right now. That point is extremely true. And I know that it's true, and you can know that it's true, because we find it in the Bible. It's our life verse for this set of lessons. And that life verse is, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Again, guys, maybe you want to say it with me because it's a great truth. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Guys, God gives us the strength we need to do anything that he wants us to do. That should give each of us a lot of confidence. That, you know, it's really a big confidence builder. In our Bible story today, we're going to meet a Bible man named Gideon and discover something about his confidence. Gideon, our story hero, was another judge. If you remember, the judges uh, in the Bible, judges were the leaders of God's people. They led Israel before Israel had kings to lead them. Do you remember the name of the two judges that we have so far have heard about? Yeah, Ehud, Ehud, and Deborah. Judges, they helped Israel, the Israelites when they were in trouble. Uh, and when the story of Gideon starts, the Israelites were once again in trouble. I, like I said last time, I feel like that's a theme. Hmm. I wonder why they were in trouble this time. Shall we find out? Oh, look at that, will you? The Israelites had disobeyed God again. Now, it's easy to kind of call them out on that, but the truth is we do it all the time, too. We don't always obey God. But they had disobeyed God again, and they were in trouble. And so this time, God allowed their enemies, a, a group of people called the Midianites, to attack them. I mean, I want you to just picture this. Just picture this in your mind. Imagine that mom is cooking a great meal, your favorite meal. She's in the kitchen. And suddenly, a gang comes, pounds down your door, blows it right off of the hinges. They march into the house. They take all that food, and they start eating it. And when you get upset and say, hey, that's my food, they say, get out of here if you want to live. Get. But it's your house. That's pretty much what the Midianites did to the Israelites. They moved right into the Israelites' land, and they took over. They ruined the Israelites' crops. They stole their houses, and they killed their animals. The Midianites left the Israelites extremely poor. The Israelites were afraid, and they hid out in caves and secret forts that they built to protect themselves. And finally, they cried out to God and asked for help. Do you think that God helped them? <laughs> I don't even have to wait that long, because you're all nodding yes. Yes, of course he helped them. Because why? Yes, because God loved the Israelites very much. Of course he helped them. He sent Gideon as a judge to free them from the Midianites. So as I tell the story here, I'll ask you if you think Gideon's choices show confidence or no confidence, okay? You tell me whether you think confidence or no confidence. Pretty easy. Are you ready? 
Okay, here we go. Well, let's get started. Gideon was hiding in a pit. Um, <clears throat> let me repeat that. Gideon, the judge, the man who was going to free Israel, was hiding in a pit. Uh, he was taking care of the grain harvest. And who, who was he hiding from again? Yeah, the Midianites. Um, not so sure that the story is going the right way. He's hiding in a pit. Well, let's see what happens. The angel of God came to talk to him. Now, I want you to understand, when I say the angel of God, most likely we're talking about Jesus before Jesus came to earth. It's confusing. So we'll just keep calling him the angel of God. The angel of God came to talk to him. Now, Gideon didn't know that this was an angel at all. All he saw was a man who came up and called Gideon a mighty warrior. He called the guy, he called the dude sitting in, hiding in a pit a mighty warrior. Uh, and he told him that he was going to save Israel from the Midianites. And I'm pretty sure Gideon thought he was crazy because Gideon was hiding in a pit from those exact same Midianites. I mean, how do you think Gideon felt about being told that he was going to save Israel? Yeah, you really, truly, I bet he was just like, you're off your rocker. I'm, I'm, I mean, really, listen to what he says. Gideon wasn't sure he could even do that. He said, if God is with us, how come all the bad things keep happening to us? Huh? Why are the Midianites always defeating us? Do you think that Gideon there is showing confidence or no confidence? Yeah, no confidence. The angel of God told Gideon, you will defeat the Midianites. God is sending you. How can I do that, Gideon said. He asked the angel, how can I do that? My family isn't very big, and it's definitely not an important family, and I'm the least important one in my entire family. So you're telling me that somebody who comes from a family that isn't important, and I'm the least important one in that family, is going to do what? Huh. Do you think Gideon was showing confidence or no confidence? Yeah, so far, no confidence. Um, the angel of God then said to Gideon, I will be with you and you will defeat the Midianites. Now by now, Gideon was starting to suspect that maybe this man wasn't just a man. Um, but he wanted to be sure, so he asked the angel to give him proof that he, the, this man was from God. Do you think that that question shows that Gideon had confidence or no confidence? Yeah, so far we're striking a lot, out a lot. If we were in baseball, we would already have to go back to the bench because we would have struck out. No confidence at all. Gideon, in fact, doesn't sound like he has any confidence, does he? But really, guys, being honest, we can't be all that hard on Gideon. God was asking him to do something extremely difficult. It wasn't like he was there saying, hey, I want you to you know, walk over to the neighboring village and buy an apple. He was telling him he was going to defeat the army of the Midianites. Just imagine that, that one day somebody walks up to you and says, hey, God is going to have you chase every single bully out of the entire school. Yep, you're a first grader. I want you to chase them all out. Oh, no, not just in your school, but I want you to chase all the ones in high school, too. I think we'd probably not be very confident either, would we? No, I don't think so at all. If that happened, in fact, I think we would want proof that that message was really, truly from God, and that's all Gideon was doing. Soon, though, Gideon had his proof. Gideon cooked some food and brought it to the angel. The angel told Gideon, he said, hey, set the food on that rock over there. So Gideon went and set it on the rock, and the angel touched the food with his walking stick. Bang! Fire came up out of the rock and burned up the food. And then the angel disappeared. I think he might have gotten his answer, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think Gideon was surprised? Yeah. Do you think he realized then that he had been talking to an angel? Yeah. Gideon built an altar right there and he worshipped God. He would do what God wanted him to do. Do you think that 
at that moment, Gideon was showing confidence or no confidence? When he built the altar, yeah, yeah. Confidence or no confidence? Yeah, yeah, he was showing confidence. Gideon showed that he trusted God. His confidence was probably a little stronger after the angel disappeared. He knew that God was really talking to him, but he still had some very big missions to complete. The very first thing God told Gideon to do was to destroy an altar to a false god named Baal. God knew the other Israelites were not going to be happy with this. They were not going to like it. So he, he sneaked out in the middle of the night with some of his servants and they destroyed Baal's altar. Do you think he showed confidence or no confidence? Yeah, he showed a little bit of confidence. Maybe not total confidence. And it's, a, it's a kind of a hard choice to judge because Gideon showed that he was willing to obey God but he was afraid to destroy Baal's altar when people could see him. So I guess we could say he showed just a tiny bit of confidence, but not a lot. Um, when the people woke up and they saw what Gideon had done, they were furious. Guys, they were so angry. They, in fact, were so angry they wanted to kill Gideon. I mean, no wonder he had been scared to tear down the altar during the day. But Gideon's father stepped in and he said... You know, if Baal was a god, wouldn't he have protected his own altar? Hmm. The Israelites realized that Gideon's dad was right. They probably shouldn't worship Baal after all. Whew! Gideon was safe. How do you think that made Gideon feel? Yeah, I think it gave him a little more confidence, too. Do you think successfully doing God's will helped build up Gideon's confidence or, or not? Yeah. When we take a chance, guys, and try something new, uh, it can really help build our confidence. Being successful can give us confidence and courage to try something that's even harder than what we've just done. And that's what happened with Gideon. The next job that God gave to Gideon, that, to Gideon was way more difficult. God told Gideon to gather some Israelite men to go into the battle against the Midianites. Gideon blew a trumpet and called for the Israelite men to come and fight in his army. Do you think calling an army showed that Gideon had confidence or no confidence? Yeah, it showed he had some confidence. He was trusting. Okay, God, let's do this. He was showing real confidence when he called for the men to fight. He was willing to do what God had asked him to do, but Gideon still had some doubts in his mind. He asked God for proof that it was really God telling him to go into battle. Gideon put a, a fleece, or a, kind of like a blanket, on the ground uh, overnight. He asked God to make that fleece wet uh, in the morning, but leave the, the ground around it dry. Just leave the ground dry. If you do that, God, he said, I'll know you really will help me win the battle. Did this show that Gideon had confidence or no confidence? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, he wasn't showing he had a whole lot of confidence, was he? This choice shows us, guys, that Gideon's confidence wasn't as strong as it could be. Gideon was really asking God to prove himself. Do you think that God did what Gideon asked? <laughs> he did, actually. He did. In the morning, Gideon woke up to find that the fleece was wet and the ground around it was all dry. Do you think that Gideon was finally convinced that God would help him save Israel? Hmm. Gideon did still have some doubts. He, in fact, he asked God for another sign. He put that fleece back on the ground overnight, and he said this time, God, if you will make the fleece dry and the ground all wet, well then, you know, then I'll know it's really you, um, and, and that you want me to go into battle, and you're really, you know, in this with me. Does that show confidence or no confidence? Wah, wah, wah. Even less confidence. God already proved himself, and now Gideon was asking him to prove himself again. Obviously, Gideon's confidence, which had grown because of being obedient to God before, was not quite as strong as it should be. In fact, 
he was asking for God to prove himself again. Do you think God did as Gideon asked this time? Yeah, he actually did. In the morning, Gideon woke up and to find that that fleece was dry and the ground around it was wet. How do you think Gideon felt then? Yeah, I think, I think he probably felt excited, confident, ready, encouraged. Those are all ways I think Gideon felt. Gideon knew that God was going to use him to save Israel, and he began to prepare for the battle. Now, does preparing for battle show that Gideon had confidence or no confidence? Yeah, yeah, now we're moving back to confidence again. Good. Gideon's confidence was starting to build up again. Now, next time, ha, you thought you were going to hear the whole story today. Nope. Next time, we'll find, about, find out about Gideon fighting the Midianites. Guys, just as God understood that Gideon needed help with his confidence, God understands that you and me, we don't always have the confidence that we need either. When that happens, God helps us find confidence, just as he helped Gideon find confidence too. How many of you have ever been to the doctor uh, to get an x-ray before? Have you ever had an x-ray maybe on your arm or your leg, maybe your chest? Yeah, I've... I got, I've had lots and lots of x-rays. I've never had a broken bone, but I've had lots of x-rays on my foot, on my knee, uh, on my arm, and on my chest. So an x-ray, if you haven't ever had one before, it, doctors use it to see what we look like inside, um, to, to show a picture of our bones or, or the insides of us. Uh, x-rays can reveal something about a person that wouldn't otherwise be known. Our choices, guys, our choices are a lot like x-rays. They reveal something about us that can't otherwise be seen. Do you know what our choices reveal about us? Yeah, that's right, guys. Absolutely, our choices show how much confidence we have. Our choices tell people a whole lot about us. If you have a lot of confidence, we choose to try new things even if we aren't sure we can do them. Um, if we don't have a lot of confidence, the opposite's true, and we're often really too scared to try the new things. And which of Gideon's choices show confidence? I mean, we really talked about him destroying Baal's altar, gathering the army, obeying God. And which of his choices showed he didn't have confidence? Yeah, asking the angel of God to prove he was really speaking for God. Destroying Baal's altar at night so we wouldn't be seen. Asking God to make a fleece both wet and dry. Gideon was a whole lot like you and me. Sometimes his confidence was really strong, and other times he didn't feel confident at all. But Gideon didn't let his lack of confidence keep him from doing what God wanted him to do. Gideon built up his courage by obeying God in smaller things at first. And as his confidence grew, he became more willing and more confident about attacking and beating the giant Midianite army. Have you ever felt like Gideon and been afraid to try something because it sounded hard? I'm guilty of that. When I was in school, I, I just chickened out all the time whenever we had Fayette and we had to climb up the ropes. I knew I couldn't do it, so I just, I just, wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. I had no confidence. It sounded way too hard. Maybe you've been like that before, too, with something where it was something you could try, it was new, and it sounded hard. But when we overcome those fears and we try something new anyway, even though we're scared, it can help build up our confidence. We can also ask God to help us like he helped Gideon. In fact, I think we should do that right now. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we know that you made each and every one of us special, that you have a plan that's just for us. But sometimes we don't feel confident enough to fulfill your plan. Please help us trust in you and believe in ourselves enough to do whatever it is that you ask us to do. We love you so much. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I think now it's a good time to say our point. One last time before we go. Will you say it with me? I can do everything God wants me to do. That's right, guys, because it's true. God can give us the confidence to do 
uh, everything that he asks us to do, any single thing. I don't know about you, but I feel more confident already. I really do. And I hope to see all of you back here next time. I'm confident that you and I will have another exciting adventure together where we learn more about Gideon. But guys, in the meantime, I, I, I encourage you this week, pray. Ask God, help me to be confident, to try that something new, that thing that, that I've never done before that sounds scary. God, give me the confidence to try it. I really encourage you to do that. And until I see you again, I am praying that you will never forget, never, ever, ever in your entire life, that you are loved so much by God and by us. I'll see you next time here at High Point. Bye.